Hello everyone, welcome back for our next episode of Neon Devils. I'm really excited to jump into this because I really enjoyed this game quite a lot. Um, before we uh, go into all the action and whatnot, I'm going to say a few words about our sponsors uh, and then uh, give everybody a chance to introduce themselves and their characters. Uh, and then we'll pass it on over to Yaz. So speaking of sponsors... Uh, oops, let me get those links in the chat, which um, the promo code for Die Hard Dice is incorrect. I haven't had a chance to update that yet, uh, which I will talk about that in a sec. So ignore what's in the chat for that part. Uh, but our first sponsor is Fundamental RPG. It looks like this. You can pick up your own copy on Amazon if you want the physical book or until the end of the month. Uh, you can get it for 50% off uh, in PDF form at coffee.com slash raven like it's spelled at the bottom of the screen and it is a simple d20 system that you can run everything from high fantasy to sci-fi and everything in between on uh, and you can generally pick it up and start playing within usually about an hour uh, if you're brand new to it um, so it's really fun uh, go pick that up and then also at coffee.com slash raven is intrepid uh, which is uh, adventuring gear for real life uh, it is apparel and drinkware and accessories and other cool stuff like that with an adventure or tabletop theme to it. So go check that out. You'll probably find something that you will enjoy. Uh, and then uh, Die Hard Dice. They sell amazing metal and polymer dice sets uh, and dice accessories and, and other dice adjacent things. Um, it's a fantastic company, fantastic products. And uh, yeah, you can pick up your own stuff at dieharddice.com and then if i remember correctly i believe the new code is just black feather uh for 10 percent off your entire order so just uh, in chat right now it says june at the end of it so just drop that just black feather capital b uh and that'll get you 10 percent off your entire order and then finally if you want to catch up on this show or others that we have on the channel you can do so at fantasy network at watch.thefantasy.network uh, all of that out of the way we're going to go to the top left with anina tell us a little bit about tori and yourself Hi, I'm Anina Kasky. I'm a actor and writer, and I also have a YouTube channel called The Awkward Actress. So you can find me on there. I'll pop the link into link into the chat as well. I play Turi, who's a um, Finnish folklore little forest gnome type creature. Uh, apparently, in what uh, Tolkien-based uh, hobbits on, and her thing is luck, or is meant to be luck, depending how I roll the dice. Um, so a bit like a leprechaun. Turi means chance or luck in Finnish. And right now, she's trying to charm slash... What's the word? A heist? She's trying to heist. Finagle. finagle. Yeah, finagle. That's a good word. She's trying to finagle some information while she's dealing some cards. Because she's also a croupier. Let's see how that works. Fantastic. Uh, next we've got Paladin. Tell us a little bit about Balder and yourself. Hi everybody, I'm Paladin Hawk, Twitch moderator for Random Tuesday and Little Red Dot. And today, as always, I'm playing a wee little dwarf named Balder. And everything is fine now because I'm home with my dad and he's all healed. So that's back to sitting at home doing nothing, not going out, not fighting no monsters. That's my life. Back to it. Just easy going from here on out. Well, <laughs> you say right? that, but <laughs> right, right, guys, that's, that's okay. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Next, uh, we'll hop over to Rowan. Tell us a little bit about Dovac and yourself. <clears throat> Hello, I am Rowan North. I'm a freelance illustrator and art educator, and um, I play Dovac. Dovac is the head of a gang called the Back Alley Fools. Um, and he, they, they, uh, they kind of do things a little different. They play games, they, uh, you know, deal cards, all from the space of a, a back alley, and they have prizes to win. And supposedly, they're the best um, odds uh, for, as at anywhere else, but he really just likes mixing things up and... Uh, is very chaotic individual um you can find my stuff at rowanorthillustrations.org i will post that in the chat and yeah that's me 
Awesome. Uh, also, real quick, uh, I just need to correct something I said earlier about Die Hard's uh, promo code. It's Blackfeather Guild, all in word with a capital B and a capital G. Um, so, yeah, instead of just Blackfeather, it's Blackfeather Guild. And that'll get you at the 10% off. Uh, I had to look that up real quick because uh, it just changed this month. Uh, next, Hannah, tell us a little bit about V and yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Hannah. Um, we're having a day. Uh, I'll be playing V today, who is a elf looking changeling, um, who definitely has nothing shady going on and is just a genuinely nice person to be around. <laughs> nothing else going on of course not no no <laughs> um, don't talk to bundles of rats <laughs> <laughs> i had forgotten about that <laughs> <laughs> um looks like i'm next so i'm raven i'm the creative director for the raven evermore which is my brand for all the various things that i do most of which are tabletop related uh or adjacent um and i'm playing tilda or promethea uh who's from the past uh roughly our like real world time um and is now in this this future uh la so uh she's a witch and a little bit of a revolutionary uh or, or magical terrorist depending on who you ask uh and yeah she's a lot of fun to play so that's me normally we would have echinor Alex with us as well playing rusty um they couldn't make it today so uh definitely give him a follow on twitter though he's really cool at echinorlax uh like it says right above my head uh and then yeah just tell us about yourself and this really cool world that you put together and take it away cool um i'd like to quickly shout out to b who couldn't make it today but um he is my world co-collaborator and dramaturge for most of the magical things for this i got a shout out because he does a lot of the the research footwork uh, that I don't. <laughs> um, but this world is a uh, pre-cyberpunk, uh, nitty-gritty urban fantasy. Um, and it has been a passion project of mine for the last several months. And I'm I'm super grateful to have this incredible team of players here to be able to play this storyline in this world. Um, I was very excited. Uh, last time, our team rescued Baldur's dad and uh, uh, accepted a job commission um, from uh, her da -da 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 Magweed. <laughs> yeah, Magweed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I, too, only have a single brain cell today, and I have slapped everything with it, and it's just, it's not working very well. <laughs> we can share. <laughs> um, but today we're going to be, we'll, we'll likely be moving a little bit slower um, and, to wrap this uh, scene up and get... Um, Harang Balder back into our storyline. <laughs> um, speaking of, V, I know we talked about it, and suddenly I can't remember <laughs> what we decided on. If we decided on anything, did you want to start the the game with the party uh, that has Cherry Dovac and uh, Promethea in it? I think I like said I'm like if that's where you want me to be, I would love to just pop up like nothing. <laughs> like okay, cool. Um, it's it's otherwise I can be anywhere you need me to be. It doesn't it's matter. Player discretion. So if you're popping in out of the vents, uh, we will go for it. Um, just you know that thing that I mentioned in in call earlier is all. So be prepared. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, brain. Okay, so last we left off uh, for sure, um, Dovik in his beautiful dress is uh, chatting up. Was it the 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 a man at the bar, or was it the bartender that you were speaking? It with? was a, a man at the bar. Um, okay, and so then we had. Sorry, go on. Yeah. 
So basically, he was trying to find like the easiest. Uh, he was playing the whole drunk thing, and that's right. Uh, spilled, right. And you you spilled all over his arm, and he did in fact have the Aswang tattoo. But he was all apologetic and cute about it. So Dovak's like, okay, I can, I can work with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Tiri, you were chatting up another fellow that was at your table who was very, very okay buying you a drink. Yeah, I gave him money and he's buying us drinks. That's right, that's we right. We are motivated by the moolah. Yes. Um, so we'll start... Uh, and then Tilda, just to confirm, um, you also, you were at the table having a bit of a harder time, but you did pick up that a lot of the conversations that were going around were not necessarily word f at face value. Yeah. Uh, uh... And you were trying to find like a pattern to it or something that might, um, mm allude to what they are talking about uh do you did you roll for that yet or is that just something I, that we had mentioned i did uh tilda couldn't make heads or tails of what they were saying uh of, of what they were saying what it meant um it's a terrible sentence construction there but you know what i mean <laughs> yeah um, i follow <laughs> so she was just basically uh kind of mentally trying to keep track of keywords and things like that that she could check with someone else later who might know what it was actually referring to. Okay. Um, let me write these keywords down. Otherwise, I will just not remember them. But I'm going to give you some, some of these words for you. So you pick up... Um, Here's some free words. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they're they're having a conversation essentially about um, their family members. One had asked like how their nephew was doing and if they were doing better in school since moving to Dais. Um, and something that uh, I must obtain my dog. <laughs> there we go. Good boy. Um, one of the things that keeps coming up is one of the men keeps mentioning, um, baseball and that the nephew seems to have a really, really hard time, um, with, uh, the outfield because the pitcher doesn't throw hard enough. Okay. Uh, but that is something that keeps repetitively coming up. It's a euphemism. You know what? I realized way too late <laughs> that that was going to be misconstrued. <laughs> it's it's only, okay. um... I was too busy trying to figure out what, like, you know, gang thing that could reference to to get the euphemism. <laughs> You know, like, there's just some things that I'll do and I say, and they go in entirely over my head, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Uh, is, is only Tilda hearing this, or are we all sort of like... Um, only Tilda is really... This is the conversation that is at her table among, like, five or six different tables. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna, for Raven. Okay, so we're at a bar. Yeah, it's like a bar setting, almost. Um, but it's less bar and more casino tables, and they have various different, like, um, blackjack, craps, roulette, um, poker. I don't remember all of the casino games that aren't slots off the top of my head right now but a lot of them arm are wrestling. there yes there's arm wrestling that would be an incredibly unfair with an Italian advantage hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, but there's several tables it's it's a medium sized room that is decently full of people so Tilda's conversation is likely going to be um, 
pushed out. Uh, and I don't think that Turi or Dovak would really think about any further uh, baseball keywords that might come up because it kind of sounds like a fairly normal casual conversation unless you're looking for it. Um, okay. So Tilda, you get that. Dovik, we're going to um, come back to you. Um, you have this, this guy who is kind of okay with you just being this drunk ditz uh, and doesn't seem at all um, put off by your character in any way and is positively responding uh, to your actions. Yes, um, if I recall from last time, I was in fact leading him or going to a back room or something. That's right. <laughs> you were going to pull him into the back room. Um, you are able to encourage or guide him back to one of the private rooms. Um, the this is about the time that you're kind of weaseling your way in from wherever it was that you were doing. Um, and you would almost be like brushing past Dovik. Like you guys are exchanging glances in the hallway kind of thing. I'm going to give him a wink then and keep going. <laughs> All right. Like, <laughs> he's just, just there in the back. He holds his tongue. He's got so many like slightly snarky things to say. Like you know, that that kind of sideways look. It's like about time you showed up, kind of. Uh, but uh, he he holds his tongue because he's in the middle of something here. All right. Um, v, you walk into the rest of the room. You're very very easily able to uh, pick together who and what is going on. Um, a text message earlier likely would have said that uh, you, your team members are going in undercover, that the plan is not to really know each other, um, and that it is a reconnaissance to find out if this is an Aswang nest. That is all the information that you have, um, and you are kind of free to attempt to assess or recon however you wish. Were you talking to me? Or? Um, to V. I okay. uh, was, this is not at all what I thought y'all were doing. Um, so I'm gonna need a sec. No, that's fine. We'll go back to um, Dovac heading into this back room. So no worries. <clears throat> so, okay. So there's a, a back room. Let's try to keep this PG-13 here. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I imagine Dovac does is he goes like to the bathroom to freshen up for any fuddy daddy. Uh, <laughs> and then I want him to use his uh rope. He's already used his um ha did he use his cast the bones? I think he did. Um the your moves refresh at the beginning of each session. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was like per mission. So um because our mission span sometimes several episodes uh you good <laughs> well i think he's gonna specifically um in this case gonna use his rote because uh, there's a few things he knows that his cards want and he's going to specifically channel his intentions here so he does like prick his finger um for this one uh because there's there's something kind of more specific he wants and he thinks the cards want uh, okay so he is going to uh you know basically ask the cards um will like i need this guy to be very loose lipped i need him to say everything or 
Uh, so you you need him to fess up. Uh, your your team goal is to and get evidence, right? Get evidence. You do not necessarily have to clear out. Um, you uh, you don't necessarily have to clear the Aswang out. Your first no. goal is to make sure that you have one of these, like uh, they're hiding the Aswang. The leftover Aswang have gone into hiding, and you're trying to root out the rest of them. Right. Um, and and so that's the thing. It's like he needs him to be relatively loose lipped as he's seducing this man. Um, <laughs> that, that's kind of his, his goal here is, uh, whether that is the cards making him very comfortable and easy around Dovac. I, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, okay. Go ahead. Roll plus weird and draw a card. Okay. Um. And the other thing I think Do Dovak is going to go ahead and do is set his phone somewhere on record. So it's Perfect. Recording. So you actually have hard evidence. Yes, precisely. Because if there isn't hard evidence, like Mugweed's hands are tied. So. Okay. So there's going to be some charming that he's going to have to do. Cha-cha-cha. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> That's 10. That's 10. I nice. Five and a three and plus his two. So ten. sweet. All right. What is the card that you pulled? The card that I pull is the Ace of Goblets. Look at this creepy ass card. Like. Ooh, opportunities in the emotional realm. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Um. So. <laughs> a blossoming relationship? Oh no! Shit. <laughs> oh shit! Are we gonna have a love? Are we gonna have a love triangle with Tootie and this random Aswang? Don't accept. I don't know. That's not. <laughs> I don't know. Wasn't intentional. Um. So. Okay. Um. When you draw your card, uh the the in the same way that your cards have done in the past it prov provides you almost with a holographic uh representation that begins to solidify and this time the ace of chalice um just like it is in your cards appears above the card uh corporeal and you're able to grab it this when you the second time that's happened, it's not any less freaky. <laughs> um, when you do reach out to grab it, the cup overflows and splashes over your arm and leaves on your arm the same as weighing tattoo uh, that was on the man that you spilled the drink. Now, this tattoo um, almost immediately starts to fade at the edges. You know that this isn't going to last for very long, but because of the way and what you do know about the Aswang as a group is that um, they are incredibly, they only trust who is in with them. Um, and this would, if, as long as you can work within your time constraints, this would absolutely give you the opportunity to be a trusted consort. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um, we can work with this. So with that taken care of, yeah, he gonna get down to business to defeat the huns i guess all right we're gonna come back to that in a minute <laughs> yeah so um i'm guessing i have just given biker guy some money to get his drinks mm -hmm. because i'm waiting for him to come back um so he yeah he shows back up um 
with two drinks in hand, one for you and one for himself. Uh, and he clears a chair or pulls a chair out for you to sit with him. Oh, thank you. I guess she just start off trying to be innocuous and be like, oh, hi, so what's your name? What do you do? You know, just like innocuous questions like that. All right, can I have you roll I'm charm so for me? Sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm stressed. Okay. That's not bad. No, oh, man. Um, essentially, you you are able to strike up a fairly good conversation. You make a connection with him, but you find out that he's a bit more guarded uh, than... <laughs> Oh my god. I'm taking notes of how many danger points that you guys collect over today alone. Um, Am I missing one? <laughs> danger is my middle name. I don't know. It's also my first these name. these danger points. Um, it was... It's, it's, we've kind of talked about it over the last two or three sessions. Every time a terrible dad pun is made, I get a danger point. <laughs> That's just discrimination against Raven. She can't help it. Doomed. It's true. It very much so is. I agree. <laughs> it's all Raven. It's all Raven. Um, I get to use the danger points as like a hard move, essentially, um, where I can kind of direct the plot. At least that's how I'm doing it. I don't generally use any of my advantages um, or these points unless I absolutely have to. Um, so y'all are fairly safe for me. Um, but anyways, just so you know, that's, I'm, I'm tallying these up. <laughs> um, anyways, so Cherry, you find out that, uh, he's a bit more guarded and that you're going to have to give something up, whether it's information or more money or whatever, to kind mm -hmm. of win him over a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Oh, I could do something really risky. Or risque. Wait. Okay. Um... To do it or not, this might fuck us over. <laughs> uh, fuck it, she'd do it. She would do it. She would do it. Um, <laughs> she would the do character. It. Um, since I get this feeling that I need to <laughs> give something. Oh God, everything's a doom lord's hard. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna steer the conversation and be like. Funny story. Do you know? Um, do you know? And I point at the man who's behind the bar. Who is obviously the bartender? Yeah. Who, who I would see now. That you sort of may or may not have absolutely fucked over. Yeah. That one time. Yeah. Yeah. That his I'd be name like, is oh, Tobias, yeah, or you so. knew him as Toby. Okay. So I go. Funny story. Don't suppose you know Toby, do you? I'm gonna say that. Um, the the man kind of gives like a, a laugh or a chuckle, and he says, "Of course, uh, we play we play poker together uh, at a at the night uh, the night mother club on Thursday nights." Okay. You know, but not like this poker. Like this is all official. No, we just, we just got like a, like a dude's game. You know. Uh, so you don't like, I don't know, play for big stakes. Oh, not at that game. No, I mean, I I've seen Joby lay down some pretty crazy things over here when he's not on, and this guy just like rambles off and yeah. like. You, you're like, yeah, this definitely sounds like Toby. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, 
and he kind of he doubles back and he says well you know i really i love to play for big stakes but uh i'm a little uh down on my luck these days because i played a little too hard and got a little too cocky and uh lost a bit too much oh tell me tell me i've got some amazing stories what's your worst loss and he is squirrely but <laughs> uh also kind of proud like there's there's this kind of like weird gambler's pride of like mm. yeah i really fucked the duck on this um and he gets quiet for a minute as as he he thinks and he says well i <laughs> sorry i had like a tangent thought that anyways okay mm. if if he's if he's <laughs> hesitating if he's hesitating Turi would like do, do that thing where you put like a hand on his bicep and go if you tell me i'll tell you something you won't believe um so, he he kind of gets a like a little more squ like squirrelier but he leans in conspiratorially because mm. this is actually pretty juicy to him and he yeah. fully admits that he sold uh the resort location and time for the leadership uh when the as fess up and it, it sounds kind of like they're planning to absolutely wreck somebody's shit uh with the DLA PD uh or it would be the old LA PD but it's all the same thing never mind uh I would love to set my phone to record and then just shove it down my dress <laughs> so you can get the the audio <laughs> um so you were you were crouched and sitting there uh in in the darkness um absolutely undetected by these three people that have just walked in and, and are having this conversation um when something from behind you suddenly grabs the back of your dress and pushes you forward into the light and says look what i've found oh. a little rat <laughs> hiding in the corner here and they like whatever it is that has you literally picks you up and puts you down in the spotlight and everybody's eyes turn to you um mm. and they all smile terribly and wickedly at you uh and we're going and they to could be frowning right that's worse they could be frowning uh not uh, sure. Is it worse? Is it, is it worse? <laughs> is it? Is it? So, uh, we're going to hop again. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> um, Balder, you've had an entire day all to yourself to do whatever it is that you please. What have you done with your day? I'm playing video games. What's your favorite video game right now? Okay, not dead or alive, because he's a kid. <laughs> no, Soul Calibur. That's a good game. That's still a really dark game, <laughs> but mm -hmm. a little better. So it's um, less obvious about it sometimes. True. Um, so you're playing like a remastered, remade version of Soul Calibur that was ripped off somebody else's PlayStation and di digitally uploaded into your system so that you can then play this arcade game, like archaic arcade game um, uh, as uh, in your home, um, which is kind of a feat all in of itself. Anyways, um, when you you see movement by the window all right i will assume that it is v so i'm going to pause the game and enthusiastically run over there um unfortunately it is not v you do see the weird little white ferret uh that had harassed you a day before and, uh, I thought and I'd left you behind with the ferret is something that looks like it should be a raccoon but definitely isn't 
<laughs> my <laughs> raccoon another friend. Critter. Look, we've barely got enough money to feed the both of us. We can't like, take on pets. Ah, uh, the, the ferret puts his hands on his hips, standing up all ferret-like, and he says, I'm not here to eat your food. My... That's what they all say, but then you taste it, and you're like, oh, that's good, I'll have some. I mean, I do want... Okay, that's fair. That's very fair. But right now, there are bigger things than food. That's saying something. Um, and the... The ferret goes to shake the front of the not a raccoon. Um, and the not a raccoon, like, like it, it just sort of like sloshes its head towards you and like kind of like gives like a weird wiggly shift, like its bones don't exist. Um, and its mouth opens and flaps like a puppet and it says, friend of V, right? You are a friend of V. V cares for you. You care for her. This is a thing that in the mortal world we do. Yes? I, of course. Ah, good. And it like Aye. slaps its paws together and it says, V needs your help. Oh. She. Right. Oh, I mean, she's not going to be if we don't get there soon. Hmm. I look back to, to like my dad's bedroom where he's resting. Hmm. Can we do this quickly then? Because uh, I'm not supposed to leave the house technically. The raccoon presses a paw limply to his face like he is there to keep a secret. All right. <laughs> and I'll like very quietly open the window and sneak out. Excellent. Uh, with that, can we go on a brief break? We can. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I have no so idea how we'll... hard it is not to sing I Need a Hero right now. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Uh, the Shrek so yeah, version. Go... Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Love that even more. You're good. Send we're going to go angel. on a 15 minute break. Uh, so, go grab hydration, snacks, stretch your legs, all that good stuff. Uh, then be back here in 15 minutes and we'll find out what's going to happen. Be right back.
we are back. <laughs> Sorry for the extended break, uh, but we're back. We're good to go. Woohoo! Um, all right. So Balder is on his way to save his friend V from who yeah. knows what. Uh, v has been whisked away by some spooky individuals. Woo! One of which she hasn't seen the face of, but has easily picked her up and put her back down. Um, Dovik, you have managed to get out and you have texted Magweed an incredibly long, terrible audio clip. Mm -hmm. um, we'll address that probably next session. <laughs> gotta be so um, let's go to Tilda. You're in the office. Um, the the man has kind of like crouched down to check and be like, can I get you a seltzer or something? Um, I, I think Tilda's like, oh yeah, a seltzer would be really good. You uh, know, <laughs> I mean, you almost noise. like get the look like he's a sympathetic, like, oh <laughs> no, I can't do this. And he gets up and he leaves you where you are. Um, in this office where there are, uh, trophies held in formaldehyde jars on the back shelf um, among a, an assortment of other strange things that are here. Um, as soon as he leaves, two things. I want to check and make sure there's no security cameras in the room that are watching. Um, and then if there are not, then uh, take pictures of everything or maybe a video file of the whole office. On, uh, you can roll sharp um, to assess anything uh, that might be... Con you don't immediately see any cameras in the room, but if you wanted to scope it out further, I would let you roll for it, is what I'm trying to say. I got you. Um, where's the... Oh, that's it. The sharp roll. Nine. There we go. Okay, cool. So, it did um, show up on my end for a second there for some reason. You're good. <laughs> um, you, so there's nothing in the office necessarily that would record you doing what you're doing. Uh, but you did, uh, you do kind of make out that there's a camera in the hallway. Um, and you're pretty sure that it can get like the first like three foot uh, diameter around the door uh, before vision is cut off from you. Okay. Uh, yeah, just gonna stay away from that little radio uh, little area. Um, and is this where we it? swap? Because then oh yeah, uh, you... this would be a great opportunity for that. Okay. If you're uh, cool with that, Tilda. Absolutely. Um, yes. Yeah, I just Sorry. wanted to. That was way too enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, I am totally good to swap now. I just wanted to get like Tilda's uh, sort of direction going. Uh, all right, so I've got five minutes and starting. So go ahead, Paladin. I cast. I'm, I'm going to cast a spell on that severed head to see what their last like thing is that they saw when they were alive. All right, Tilda's got a whole bunch of ingredients on her person. Can yep. you tell me what ingredients you use to use that spell? Let's see. Eyeballs belonging to a raven. Because, like, or, like, you know, or is it crow? Which one of the ones that pluck out dead people's eyeballs? Both of them will do it. Both of them will do it? Great. One of each variety. So I will use that to, like flip it around and channel the spell through the eyes into my eyes so or into Tilda's eyes so I she can see what's going on very cool um, who is this person I am gonna roll Tilda's magic real quick um oh I am goodness. gonna use an advantage on it because I can and I like this more all right um where is that Goodness. Baldo needs to fail his rolls anyway. I uh, leveled up even fine. once. 
Yep. So that's a that's a mixed success. Did you want to use that advantage to roll again? Sure. We ten. There we go. Full success. So as you do that, you pull your eyes up. Uh, you pull these eyes up like spectacles to take a look at this head in um, the jar, um, and the you wanted to find out the last thing that this head saw is that mm-hmm. correct yes um it sees you the fuck <laughs> <laughs> i'll put the eyes down and like and like see if it's like seeing me now i mean from as far as you can tell this head with its diaphanous but open eyes all milky and filmed over looks very much like a corpse head tucked into a jar hmm. that is weird i'm gonna like move out of its field of vision and see if there's any magic in the room um, I'm not going to make you roll for it, um, just because you're already activating magic. Uh, but you do, um, uh, you, it's, it's less that you're sensing a spell or a ward of some kind, but more that there is like this weird, like if you could see the magic, you can more or less feel it just a bit. But if you could see it, it would look like a strange, very loosely knotted line of yarn that is kind of just spun all over the room and leads out of the room. Strange. Like, okay. I'll doodle something on a whiteboard that's in the room. And then I will leave. All right. Um, did you want us to check in with uh, uh, Balder um, <laughs> with Raven's mouthful and noodles? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Um, so Balder needs the strength <laughs> on the way to save his friend. Uh, you. Um, you are you're hauling ass after this ferret and this not a raccoon just like sprinting through the city weaving and bounding and kind of trying to get around things until you come to this building and the the not a raccoon um does that funny thing where like part of its body moves in one direction and the other part of its body moves in another and it just sort of like like comedically stretches and snaps back together and then it's like uh fine and pulls a grate open um that everybody should be able to fit in um it is important to note i i was informed that uh balder is running like yajirobi from dragon ball so with, <laughs> with, with arms out and probably like doing little <laughs> noises you know while running <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Balder will, will follow along. Uh, so this grate is going into the building that we're trying to rescue V from, is that right? Uh, did, I, did I understand that you, correctly? You, there is a grate outside of this building that has been opened okay. by the not a raccoon. Um, so Balder's gonna take a look at that and then look at the, the not a raccoon and go, so we're meant to go in there then? <laughs> uh and the not a raccoon just gives you like a big thumbs up like dude style i apologize Baldur's gonna be irish rather than scottish for a little bit because i can't do a scottish accent very well <laughs> um and uh, uh all right then um well, i guess let's get to it and gonna go inside all right so you slip into this uh uh, you 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 jump into this grate, and what it is 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 kind of like a a, a halfway subway or a halfway sewer system, like, because things work f- weird. Um, and you kind of come down and splash in like for Balder ankle deep um, water, and the not a raccoon and the ferret hop in after you, landing on your shoulder, and the ferret like like grabs the side of your head and points forward and says 
That way! <laughs> Onward! Um, is it... Is it just Rusty that doesn't want to get wet? Or, or is it Balder too? I can't remember. That's a... Balder's I think it's... fine with getting wet? Yeah, I think okay. that's... Um, I think it's just Rusty. Yeah. I mean, the Dwiarks will sink if it's high water, but... Because we're least... rocks. Yes, but Rusty yeah. can't go in because he's comprised of so much metal. That's what it was. Okay. Uh, so yeah, then, then yeah, well, we're just gonna run as fast as we can, uh, arms out, um, uh, looking around for, you know, where we're supposed to go to, to go find V. Um, uh, probably having the, the axe, uh, you know, ready to go, but not, not pulled out yet. Right. So your animal companions, um, kind of lead you back and forth, left and right and up and down. Um, to the point where you almost feel like you're not actually getting anywhere before you finally come to uh, a segue in the the walls. And it's kind of this narrow, like a utility hallway um, that you're able to get down. Um, but there is a metal grate and I'm going to need you to roll strength to pry it open. Speaking of segues, uh... Our timer's up, so Paladin, you can take over. Yay! I can roll? You can yeah. roll! That gives me a chance for failure. Here we go. Do I still have a disadvantage? You do. D would you like to use it? Yep, it's not appropriate, but here we do go. Do it! Bring it! Watch you get, like, two tens. Yeah. Here's the first one. <laughs> and... Is a second. It's a nine. Oh well. We tried. We tried everybody. You you were we close. We tried to fail. So Just um, successful. you are you get you're able to pry the bars open, but not the door off. You are still, however, able to get in. It makes a terrible, terrible grinding noise as you do so. Oh that's loud. So you um uh, you manage to get into this utility hallway and your animal companions are pointing you forward. I sure as handy. I have you showing me the way. Um the the little the little white ferret is like, well well yeah, you're like the chosen one or whatever, so of course yeah, we can have you. Too. <laughs> so um they lead you down this narrow hallway or do you attempt to be sneaky at all nope all right you're just throwing yourself helter skelter into this uh let's come back to that um cheery you have successfully won this man over to your side what is your next step Okay, um, since I've, I'm guessing I would have gotten his number for future, whatever, future intel or plans. So I'm going to make my hopefully subtle exit. So I actually right. don't know where everyone else is, but I'm going to try and exit. Everybody's kind of intermittently around. Uh, you okay. did receive on your phone some pictures of crates with some sort of archaic magic script on the side. Not that the script itself is magic, but that it is probably some kind of a Tao language. Okay. But I don't know that V's in trouble. You do not know that V is in trouble. But this would also be a good time for Dovik to enter the room at large again, if he so wished. Yeah. Um, yeah, he definitely enters uh, looking kind of self-satisfied a little bit. And <laughs> disheveled, uh. I'm guessing. He had a I chance imagine, to clean up. Yeah, I imagine he also cleans up rather quickly. I mean, he's halfway okay. disheveled all the time anyways with his, like, mm. messy hair and, like, yeah. purposefully, like, smeared makeup and shadow. Anyways. Um, but he, uh, 
So, so, but he makes uh, eye contact with Tori because I think that's the only person he can see. T- Tilda is still not the office, right? Yep. Oh, you would be passing that office though on your way out. Okay, so uh, I'll uh, I'll make my nonchalant exit while giving Dovak a look of like I'm off. And let's, uh, let's get this done. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, in fact, Dovak actually sends a group text, and he he just vaguely says, "Got it." Um, Tilda, you receive this text as you're kind of coming to terms with this strange severed head in this office. (laughs) Um, so you get the text, you've taken your videos and your photos. Uh, what is your next step? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue with the, uh, getting out of the, the room, uh, thing. Uh, but she's taking the waste basket with her uh, and sort of stumbling out of the, the room, keeping up the uh, sick act. The charade. Yeah. Um, so you are... You Is are... going to stumble right into Dovak? Uh, you know what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, you guys, whether it was planned or not, you both collide. <laughs> uh, question, I see them? What was... What was in the waste basket by the door? Um, the waste basket had four crumpled papers and a John Co. battery bar uh, meal supplement wrapper. Uh, okay, Th- those are now on Dovac. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> well, at least it was like paper waste and not wet waste. Yes, yep. it's Bye. all paper waste. Is um, anyone else in the corridor? Apart from us three? Uh, Tiri, Dovak, and Tilda are now in the corridor. Uh, the the guy that was standing guard at the door is making his way back with like a seltzer for Tilda. Mm. Tilda. Um, so get... he has his eyes on you. Okay. Uh, Tilda gives sorry. Dovak just like a uh, mostly faked, but not entirely faked, dirty look. Uh, <laughs> And just does her best Mira impression, uh, since she's still in that that form. Uh, and it's just like, you know, watch where you're going. Oh my god. Um, and Dovak just like, it's like, I was leaving anyways. Uh, uh, and, and she looks back at the guard also and is like, can you, a little, little help, why, why are people roaming the hallways? <laughs> why, why are there people on my road? Why are the yep, cars on my road? <laughs> basically, yeah. The guard gives you the most impetuous look. And he just, like, closes his eyes and points. And he says, all of you out of the hallway. Go. <laughs> Leaving right now. Bye. Um, Leaving. As you guys, like, get towards your exit, um, can I have you all roll sharp? Yes. Uh, Tilda grabs the seltzer on her way out, by the way. Sorry. Once we're out of earshot of Le Guard, if it's okay, I think Turi would go, is that a hickey on your neck, (laughs) (laughs) Tilda? He just smiles and winks. Okay. Tuna goes really quiet. All right. So, <clears throat> sharp. <laughs> um, perfect. So, you don't really notice it until you get to the, the like, as you guys are, fi- like, heading to the last leg, to the door that is your official exit. Um, but as you are making your way there, there seems to be a bit of organized commotion. Um, and as you look up the stairway that you had come down from, you see that somebody is standing in front of the door with their arms crossed. Um, Tiri, you would unfortunately recognize this as your friend, Toby. Oh, no. And Toby kind of gives, like, that not nice <laughs> laugh and takes a couple of steps down 
uh, the, uh, towards you guys, and he says, "How funny that I should see a little bird here in my nest of vipers." Hi, Toby. It's been a while. How are you? <laughs> and Toby smiles in a way that is neither comforting or familiar to you. And he says, I've been great, Tiri. How have you been? <laughs> I'm just, I was just playing some cards. You know, we should do that again sometime. I'll, my luck ran out. Who, who would have thought that? I'm just gonna go. Um. <laughs> Toby makes absolutely no motion that he is going to get the fuck out of the way. And he's a bigger guy. He fills this stairwell. Um, and he seems like he is getting ready to probably throw a punch. But we're going to cut from that to uh, oh. V. <laughs> okay. um, v, you have very rapidly uh, found yourself in an incredibly not positive situation. You were set down, the three in front of you looked at you and before you were you were able to really do anything about it, you were slapped with a ward and that ward dampened your magic so that you were unable to pour intent into anything and to call on anything but your physical gifts to get out of this situation. But to come, to come, uh, to, to, God damn it. <laughs> to the other side of that coin. Jesus, I can't talk. <laughs> On the flip side. On the flip side. <laughs> no, it's not a flip side because that would be like the also. We're just going to go with also. <laughs> Also, um, before you are able to react and wiggle your way out of this situation, um, you feel the prick and sting of something against your neck and somebody has very rapidly um, used a syringe to deposit something. Um, and you find that your body has very quickly become sluggish. You've tried to move, but you are unable to do so. Um, and very faintly in the distance, you hear the sound of metal tearing. Whether that could be good or bad, we don't know. Find out next time. As Balder eventually crashes through the door. Um, now, before we, uh, we are going to wrap up a little bit early today, but before we do, um, I would like to end with Balder uh, and this sewer into building is. It's not a rescue mission. That's the word. Sorry, I'm very slow today. Um, Balder, you, your animal companions have resolved any need for you to in really combat uh, what, like any of the navigation or anything like that. Uh, but you come to an additional, um, like a, like a. a half doorway that you have to vault over and as soon as you clear the the area and into the next room you find that you are not alone in that room and three very very nasty looking lizard atow um have sprung to their feet in surprise their feet it's surprise <laughs> It, it you worked. just barreled through the door. Um, would and you one like of them be a snake just because it's funny that they hop to their feet? <laughs> yes. Well, what is a naga uh, or a labia? Um, and uh, you may choose to react mm. now to this, or we can save that for the next session. I think we'll save it. I think All right. Good. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like... What's gonna happen? Dun, dun, dun! We'll open with the action next time! What has our our group gotten into? (laughs) Um, uh, Remind me to tell you... um, 
uh, once we're we're closed out here, what what Tilda's going to do, okay. uh, just so that that I don't forget for next week. All um, right. But yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, we're gonna go on a read here in a minute, but before we do, want to let let everybody say what their favorite part was, where we can find them, anything they'd like to share or plug. Um, we'll go uh, mostly re reverse order. Are are you good to go first, Yaz, or do yeah, you want I me to? Okay. I could do it. Um, I'm not going to get any better. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, my name is Yasmin. I'm a, or Vodalia. I'm a visual artist. Um, I'd like to give a big shout out to B, my collaborator, who couldn't be here today. Uh, and uh, thank you, everybody, for participating in this awesome world that we have worked so hard on. I will put my website link in the chat and my favorite part is probably how many times i have face palmed today is great <laughs> um and i can't think of anything else at the moment it'll come to me later but i no uh, yes <laughs> stutter heart um also go check out uh uh, Echo Relax on Twitter. Uh, he couldn't be here this week, but he's awesome. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, next, let's go over to Hannah. Uh, what was your favorite part? Where could folks find you? Anything you want to share or plug? Hmm. Uh, Thoughts. And my brain is somewhere presumably we're, it's in a jar uh, on your desk we're all in the but... same boat yeah. Dang, all of us so that's what's in that jar <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, i'm sorry it, it's not it, 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 it's not coleslaw it's not sauerkraut it's our collective brain cells in yeah. one severed head <laughs> um i really i really enjoyed there's a lot of stuff i really liked i liked all of the like kind of subterfuge fun things but i really like um Tony revealing who she is and the guy going oh fuck are you gonna fuck me up <laughs> and then just being like no no if you if you don't throw me under the bus <laughs> it was good and where you can fight yes <laughs> um i believe that we are not doing standing stones next week we're taking a break next week um, Correct. So I will be back here for this show again next Friday, Noon Mountain. Do not miss it. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thief. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Love it. Uh, all right. Uh, Rowan, same questions. <laughs> Sorry, we are currently. Uh, arguing in the Deus Angelis uh, board, who is a bigger Gwinnell simp, so that's fun. Um, I am Rowan North. Um, my favorite part was... Um... <sighs> Gosh, there were so many fun shenanigans uh, just going on between uh, Tilda faking drunk and that actually working, uh, between, uh, you know, B getting her, the, the surprise motherfucker and um, being thrown into the light uh, between ba Balder hanging out with the uh, rats in a raccoon suit um, <laughs> and following them down the sewers uh, and, and then just Dovak and me trying to lampshade as hard as I can <laughs> uh, what, what's, what's going on um, but um yeah, no, this was a really, really fun section. I know that, Yaz, you were kind of out of it, and uh, I do understand, but it was very fun. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, so where you can find me next is, I think next Wednesday we're taking off as well, uh, so I'll be here Friday. So, yeah! Awesome. Uh, next, let's go over to Paladin. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Same questions. What was my favorite thing? It might be Rowan having such a great time. Aww. It was really obvious. <laughs> so that's that's always nice to see. But I also liked all those Turi moments. 
Like yeah. even that last one, you know, where they they're like, "How have you been?" Like, that's good. That's good stuff. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. Well, it's one of those. Pick one. Uh, where can you find me next? Uh, let's see. For me tomorrow, uh, in the middle of the night. I will be GMing the first episode of my Good Strong Hands mini-series over on Paul Scriptus' channel. I'm really nervous because I'm in the, have I underprepared or is this just right? I don't know. I'm going to do some more more stuff. And I'm, I'm very anxious about the whole thing and excited to see where it's going to go. And then Sundays, I am over on Uncanny Adventures, where I play Holt, the pirate paladin who tries to make friends with all the evil pirates. And that's been going reasonably well. But just as I was making more friends, a bunch of giant wasps attacked our little outpost, and that was bad. But as we fought them, saved a bunch of people, probably made more friends that way, a new ship arrived, which presumably has more friends on it. So that's going well. And... <laughs> Then Tuesdays over on Paul Scripted's channel, I play Dom Rain on the Githzerai Noble Fighter, where we are in a city where I disagree with how things are run, and perhaps uh, I will go against my law-abiding nature and do something about how things are run. To in. And then like I ask. am back here. Yeah. It's just gonna make it more lawful, awesome. better lawful. Yes, that that is exactly <laughs> what, what the plan is. <laughs> I love that. Uh, all right. And then uh, Anita. Hi. Uh, you can find me here next week on Friday. Same time, same channel. Um, I'm going to be joining a, another stream campaign as well, but that's not quite ready yet. Um, but that should be fun. That's a bunch of us UK trained actors uh, doing a campaign called Bardic Quests. So we shall, we shall see. Looking forward to that. But my favorite, I think my favorite moment was following Dovak's shenanigans, just how far he goes for a um, mission. Goes all the way. I enjoyed that. And yeah, Tur is in trouble again. So <laughs> I'm in danger too. Go back next week. <laughs> It's gonna be great. Oh goodness. Um Alright, so I think that just leaves me uh Oh yes, I love that for the raid cry. Absolutely. <laughs> um <laughs> my favorite part. The whole thing was really really fun. Uh I also enjoyed watching Dovac run around uh and be Dovac. Um and I really had fun watching uh, Paladin uh, get to play Tilda for a little bit. Um, that was really neat what you did with with her stuff. Um, and then, yeah, uh, V being completely nonplussed about getting kidnapped and just like, well, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> it's just, I have head kitted that the whole thing is on her Instagram live page now. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um Me and the kidnappers. Oh my goodness. Y'all keep She's got like up. an auto filter that changes her face so that nobody actually knows who she is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just imagining a poll that's like, who's gonna win? Baddies or me? Every everybody smile. <laughs> I love that so much. If I get this many retweets, I'll break free. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll film it. You can watch me all kick some ass. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My I love yeah. it. A dislike um, if you want to see, if you don't want to see me uh, break free. You get all the haters. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so I know how popular this video is. But all of it was really shows up. Great. She's like, oh my gosh, guest star. <laughs> <laughs> the other favorite part was. Uh, all of the tangents and uh, just random asides and, and completely off the rails conversations that we've had over the course of this entire session, including the break. Yes, the <laughs> All kid. of it was great. Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, 
<clears throat> where you can find me next uh, in about three and a half hours for Welcome to Madison, uh, which is a really fun horror game. It's legitimately really creepy uh, and and scary, but our characters are doing our best to make it uh, also funny. Um, so it's a really good mix of humor and horror. Um, <clears throat> highly recommend coming and checking that out. Uh, other things to share or plug uh, is our sponsors, which I'm throwing into chat. Uh, Fundamental RPG, uh, which is the system we're using for Welcome to Madison. Uh, it's a simple D20 system that can run everything from high fantasy to sci-fi and everything in between. Uh, you can go pick up a copy on Amazon if you want the physical book. If you just want the PDF, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you can pick that up. Uh, at coffee.com slash raven like it says at the bottom of the screen uh, and the pdf is on sale for half off uh, until the end of the month so you can pick it up for less than 10 bucks so it's a pretty good deal um, also at coffee.com slash raven you can pick up uh, intrepid gear which is adventuring gear for real life uh, apparel accessories and drinkware and other cool stuff like that with a tabletop theme to it so go also go to the site there and uh, check it out you'll probably find something that you will enjoy uh, and then finally, Die Hard Dice, uh, which are incredible polymer and metal dice. They also sell uh, dice bags and accessories and dice adjacent things. It's very, very, very cool stuff. Uh, if you use the code BLACKFEATHERGUILD, all one word, capital B, capital G, uh, you can get 10% off of your entire order. Uh, and then the particular set that I'm recommending this month is one they recently sent to me called Lover's Whisper, um, which looks like this. They sent me a, a set recently. And I really like it uh, because the colors are really close to the trans flag, but they're also just really pretty on their own. Um, so I highly recommend that set in particular, uh, but go check all of that out at dieharddice.com. And then finally, if you want to catch up on this show or any others on the channel, you can do so at the Fantasy Network at watch.thefantasy.network. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to go on a raid. We're going to go raid uh, Weave the Tail, which is a fantastic channel and community. I highly recommend following them if you're not doing so already. And then our raid cry is going to be uh, the phrase, the head sloshes towards you should not exist. You can copy that right out of chat. Uh, and then I will see you all in a few hours. Bye, everybody.